We gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers Walking out the tent in blue Balenciagas I call her out now, I got blood on blue Balenciagas What's going on YouTube? My name is Bear Witness and today I have a couple of tips for you guys. Now, no matter what battle royale you play when you first hop into it, it could be a little bit overwhelming, it could be a little bit tough to play, and sometimes it can almost feel like uh, there's no winning it. But um, I have a couple of tips for you guys that can help you guys a lot and hopefully improve your games. And all I ask is that if it does help you guys, leave a comment down below, like the video, and make sure you guys, uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, that you guys look forward to more videos from me based on Call of Duty in general. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. The first thing that I want to talk to you guys about today is sensitivity. And this is a, it's a weird topic for me. Um, but based on the fact that, because I always raise and lower my, lower my sensitivities, but I've been doing that a lot in this game just to kind of feel what really feels right for me. And I noticed a severe amount of higher kill games once I broke out of my low sensitivity comfort zone. Um, I usually, in multiplayer, play out of 4-4 because I like being as accurate as possible. 4-4 allows me to be accurate and somewhat be able to maneuver around without having any major problems. Now I recommend that if you do play on a low sensitivity while you're playing uh, multiplayer that when you play blackout you raise it because there is so much more of an open area and because of that you need every opportunity to you know turn towards that barn that tree or you know turn on the person that's shooting at you in general so that's why I prefer to play on a 6-6 when I play it and I've noticed a lot more high kill games now high kill games for me are not super high kill games like you know in Fortnite Although, I haven't seen very much higher than like a 15 kill game. So if you guys also have very high games like, you know, 22 kills or anything like that, make sure you guys drop it down below. I want to know what you guys is, or your guys' uh, highest um, eliminations is. Because mine is, I think mine's 13 itself, actually. So that's pretty awesome. Um, at the current time, there is also a lot of things that you guys should know when it comes to like your general, you know, uh, like maneuverability for your items and everything. Now, first things first, you can open up your inventory or what I like to call the hot bar by just pressing up on the D-pad. Through that, you can literally scroll through your whole backpack, whether it's attachments or whatever. Whatever's in your backpack, you can, you know, equip or detach, you know, um, well, actually, I don't think you can detach. I think you can just equip things from your hot bar. Um, so if you're in a hurry and you're just picking up things, and you, you need to you know get moving then make sure you use your hotbar by pressing up on the d-pad also when you're equipping perks you can equip two at a time a lot of people um, that I talked to recently in random squads didn't even know you could equip perks let alone being able to you know being able to have two of them on at once which some of them are very beneficial I will have a full tier list of the best perks in the game soon um, I want to go over to see if I've missed any before I tell you guys, but generally the perks are actually very useful and you should use them as much as possible and make sure that you're picking those up and using them to their best advantage. Like if you're using a sniper, it is very good to have iron lungs. If you are going to be caught in the storm, using Outlander is a very useful and critical perk because not only does it allow you to move faster while you're in the storm, it allows you to take less damage while you're in the storm so these are all big things so recap quick recap guys we have sensitivity find a little bit of a higher range so you guys can find a, you know maneuver around the map we have using your hot bar and using perks now as a fourth thing guys there is an option in the settings menu because we don't have the special um looting system that PC has it's not very very special it's just a little bit more streamlined so in order to counteract this guys to even make your looting just a tiny bit faster there is an option where you don't have to hold the button to pick it up whereas you can just tap it so if you go into your settings go to the black eye blackout menu you guys can see that there is a section there where you guys can actually set it up to where all you guys have to do is tap the button to open things to you know pick up weapons to pick up attachments now this saves you only a little bit a couple of seconds but a couple of seconds in blackout is life or death in certain situations so 
that being said, that's another thing that is very useful. And with the last and final thing that I want to talk to you guys about is right now, game sense is something that you need to focus on as well. Not just playing the game, playing the game and getting the experience is part of being able to get victory royales. I can't, ex I can't imagine a lot of people that can just jump into the game and immediately start smacking. So you don't have to be down on yourself at the current moment when you're not able to get kills or when you're not having the best of games. You take each experience as a, um, as a way to learn and you move forward with that. Currently boasting a, um, two point i think it's like a 2.1 kd so the kills will come guys especially that just don't get down on yourself make sure you remember that this in this it's call of duty it's not it's still it's a battle royale yes but it is still very much call of duty so we'll work on winning your gunfights work on finding the weapons that work for you oh and another bonus tip that actually doesn't correlate to a lot of other things but Spending too much time looting is a very big mistake. So you want to spend as least time looting as possible. If you already have a maxed ACR, or ICR, my bad, I keep calling it the ACR, then there's no reason to try to take off all your attachments to try to max out a KN. Generally, every weapon is going to be able to perform. Yes, there are weapons that perform better, but being able to be smart in certain gunfights will usually give you the upper hand in general anyways so i hope this helps you guys like i said i hope this gets you guys your first victory royale if you haven't got one on black ops 4 and if you enjoyed the video make sure you guys leave a like down below also make sure you guys join the unbearable click that sub button and that bell to be notified every single time i make a video tons of more blackout videos coming tons of more call of duty coming and i hope that you guys are having as much fun with black ops 4 as i am thank you guys so much for checking out the video and i'll see you guys next time Peace. We gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them chop. Walking out the tent.